Alyssa, we're coming to see you. Dad, spell I cup. Dad. Dad, spell I cup. Dad, spell I cup. I'm trying to get it to focus. Is it focusing on me? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Spell I cup. I C U P. You see the P? Right. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Spell pig backwards and say pretty colors. G I P pretty colors. Do you, you put pretty colors? I guess so. <laughs> daughter Alyssa. They are having family weekend at her college. Apparently they have a football game, maybe some other activities for us to do, and we're just gonna hang out. And that was a terrible angle, but whatever. So here we are. We are, look, that's what a good man does. Brings luggage to the car. Kind of cloudy this morning, but hey. It's all good. But yeah, that's what we're doing this weekend. Gonna go see Alyssa, check out a football game, and find, see what else we can find fun to do over there. <laughs> Who is it? What's funny is I left you home with just the camera, so who knows? So where are you going today? I know where I'm going. All the right. people know where I'm going, so where are you going? I'm going wherever you're going. Cool. <laughs> you ready, Ava? Oh, she waved. So you stayed at that hotel during the hurricane, during Flora? I did. I stayed in that hotel, and then I stayed in one across the street, and then I left and went back to meet y'all. So you left a washing machine, a nice comfy bed, air conditioning, plenty of food to eat to come to a disaster zone to get home? Yeah, I did. You know, after I think about it, it probably wasn't the smartest idea. <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you leave the hotel? Because I missed you. Oh. You, 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 that person right there. I did, I was pregnant, I was with the kids, I was away from home. It was very stressful, and I just wanted to get back to y'all. I thought you told me that you and the manager got in a fight. <gasps> no, he told me I couldn't use the washing machine. Oh, well, that explains why you come home, because you couldn't <laughs> use them at home either. We didn't have no power. I, okay, I was tired. Okay, I was tired, <clears throat> and I was exhausted, and then I was emotionally compromised being pregnant. I was just kind of a nut basket. So he tells me, um, we evacuate, he tells me, hey, you can't use the washing machines because of Corona. <coughs> I was like, excuse me? I've been away from home for four days now. I'm running out of clothes. Where's the washing machines? And he kind of looked at me and that's when I lost it. I just started crying. <coughs> so then I felt bad because I kind of got snippy with it. Needless to say, he said, ma'am, if you just go in there, I'm not going to say nothing to you. I was like, thank you so much. So the next morning I had to go apologize to the guy. Yeah, I left. I left niceness to come to niceness. disaster. <laughs> I don't know the word. What word do you want me to use? Um, Comfort. Civilization would be the proper word because there wasn't much of it where I was. It was... You're right. And probably about on day three or four being back into it, I was probably thinking, you know, that hotel room wasn't that bad. Yeah. The Millsaps campus is close to downtown Jackson. The center of the campus is dominated by The Bowl, where many events occur, including homecoming activities, concerts, and commencement. Millsaps was ranked 90 out of 251 National Liberal Arts Colleges in the U.S. News and World Report of America's Best Colleges issue. Millsaps College professors are ranked among the best in the nation, according to the Princeton Reviews. In 1931, the first night football game in Mississippi is played on the Millsaps campus between the majors and Mississippi A&M, which is now Mississippi State University. In 1943, Johnny Carson attends Millsaps for a V-12 Naval Officer Training, entertaining his comrades with a magic and humor act. In 1953, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis judge a Millsaps beauty contest. And in 1967, Robert F. Kennedy, during his presidential campaign, speaks at the college about obligations of young Americans to give back to their country. Okay, 
sister. Want some? <laughs> Me no. So most parents need high chairs. You just plop on the floor and. <laughs> I should just push this in her mouth and squirt <laughs> it. Is what she, I should. She just put her mouth on. Yeah, hey, you want some? <laughs> There you go. You don't even need a spoon anymore. Is she just sucking it out the tube? <laughs> she just, I don't even need a spoon. I feel like we're bad parents right now. <laughs> no, we're resourceful parents. <laughs>